Greetings from New York City. I'm Catherine Vaz. I thought I would read one poem for you from a collaboration I did with artist Isabel Pavone called The Heart is a Drowning Object. In childhood, I learned the life-saving technique called drown proofing. Most people die in water because they thrash and struggle. Instead, be a cork bobbing in place. Give a gentle kick to break the surface. Tilt back your face. Inhale. Sink below again. Tread vertically. Do not fight to keep your head above water. Pretend it's ballet. Help is coming. Every few breaths, sweep your arms in a breaststroke toward a shore. It's very slow progress. The water's murky, but there's lace on the tide. You're still alive. What's the worst that could happen, after all? The heart is already a drowning thing. Hysteria will kill you. The air, if it's dawn that finds you like this, might be apricot. They tasted so sweet once, didn't they? Apricots from a tree, made of water and sun, with the genius ability to solidify into that orange coral tone. That alone was reason to live, wasn't it? Glance up when you swallow more air. The skeleton of a human hand is said to resemble the bones in the wings of birds. Watch them overhead. Touches everywhere if you imagine it so. The people who want you safe are searching for you. Hold on. Even before I met you, I knew I'd marry you. I was patiently suspended teaching myself how to love you. Thanks, everyone.